Since the middle 1970s, the Egyptian army ended its defense partnership with the Soviet Union and turned pro-Western. However, Egypt was denied access to advanced fighters, such as the F-15 Eagle and F-14 Tomcat. The region was Egypt's status as a second-rate ally. Meanwhile, America's more senior ally partners, such as Japan, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Israel, or acquired high-end fighter jets. This put Egypt at a distinct disadvantage compared to its neighbors. And yet, to give its ally Israel an absolute advantage in the region, Egypt was also banned from buying advanced weapons for its F-16 fleet, the AIM-120 missile. This means that by the late 1990s, Egypt's air combat capabilities were very outdated, inadequate against adversaries like Israel. Egypt was armed only with older AIM-7 missiles. Egypt is also very vulnerable to cuts in parts and supplies from the US. This was demonstrated in 2013. Washington was squaring to freeze parts due to dissatisfaction with the overthrow of the pro-Western Muslim Brotherhood government. Similar actions by the United States have plagued some of its defense customers, such as Indonesia and Pakistan in the past. Egypt's F-16 fleet could be incapacitated at any time in the event of war. To fill the gap in long-range firepower, Egypt was forced to look to its North Korean partner to buy Hwa Song-5, Hwa Song-6, and Rodong-1 ballistic missiles. In terms of long-range air-to-air -air capabilities, it was not until 2013 that Egypt's armed forces made a drastic transformation after decades of dependence on U.S. weapons. They turned to closer defense cooperation with Russia and Iran. The U.S. imposed an arms embargo on the Egyptian government was also an opportunity for the country to replenish its long-range arsenal with the decision to buy Russian MiG-29M fighter jets. The MiG-29M at that time, the oldest and least modern Russian fighter, was in production. But compared to American fighters, the MiG-29M was a major upgrade over the Egyptian Air Force F-16C. Although less modern than the F-16C, the MiG-29M has not been reduced in combat features. Owning MiG-29M gives the Egyptian Air Force the opportunity to access long-range air to air missiles like R-27ER and R-77. Thus, for the first time in decades, the MiG-29M provided a ship with an air combat capability compared to the Israeli Air Force. Since the acquisition of MiG-29M, it has paved the way for Egypt to continue buying advanced Russian fighters in the future. The most notable is the MiG-35 4++ generation medium fighter. The same goes for Europe. Egypt has signed a contract with Dazur to buy 24 Rafale for a value up to $5.2 billion. 
In particular, the Rafale is equipped with medial vision visual range meter with a range of up to 200 kilometers. Egypt also ordered the Su-35 Heavy Air Superiority Fighter in 2018. The Su-35 were equipped with many the same weapons as the MiG-29M and take advantage of the existing infrastructure of the MiG. New heavy fighters such as the Su-35 will provide Egypt with the air superiority it has sought since the 1970s. The Su-35 is a heavy fighter similar to the F-15, but much more modern. As a 4 plus plus generation fighter and considered the most capable fighter on the African continent today, this could give Egypt a significant advantage. Recently, Egypt continued to sign a contract to buy from France 30 Rafale two-seat version in favor of ground attack capabilities. With the SCALPEG cruise missile, giving the Egyptian Air Force a precise long-range ground attack capability. The acquisition of the MiG-29M, Su-35 and Rafale by the Egyptian Air Force is said to have marked the beginning of the potential restoration of a world military power. And more importantly, Egypt has ceased to be a second-rate ally given the unfairness of its American counterpart. My video about the Egypt military answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.